And the first time I played this game, I knew for a certain fact Richter never killed Emil or um, Aster. So yeah. Well, I just believed in him. I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. Yeah. I believe that Richter could not have killed Aster. Richter's way too nice. And oh wow. Lightning rods and shit. Mm hmm. Slow motion. Okay. Oh. Emil isn't Emil? <laughs> yeah, a war boar? Yep. You know, I told you this. That one day. You know, when, um. I was gonna tell you the secret about the game. I was telling. A war were the secret about the game, and I told him Emil is a meal. I've been observed. I think Regal may be right. We once witnessed one of our friends being possessed. When Emil's in Ratatosk mode, he's being possessed by Ratatosk's power, right? But it sure lasts a long time for a mere possession, and he recalls those periods as part of his own memories. But recently, it seems like he doesn't remember what happens while he's in Ratatosk mode. In our experience, the possessed party is aware they are being possessed. However, here, Emil perceives the possession as a part of him, and recently he has no memory of the incidents. This is just as Rain predicted. What exactly did she say? Rain's hypothesis is that the real Emil is suffering from a form of amnesia. She theorizes that the Emil we know is an invention of his mind, created to fill in the holes of his missing memories. I don't see how that's possible. His aunt and uncle recognized him as their nephew. That puzzles me as well. Because his aunt and uncle have not seen Emil in a really, really long time. But Rain believes that his real self lies dormant along with his memories. She suspects that perhaps his pact with Ratatosk stimulated his mind, unlocking this inactive portion. Otherwise, I see no reason why his personality would dramatically transform simply... You guys see Emil? Ratatosk's yeah, you guys see Emil! Look at that! That is... He's like standing right there. I can't see him on the TV, but I can see him on the recorder. Uh -huh. Emil! In other words, the person I am now... Is a fake? Yeah. You heard us. It's sad. That's not exactly right. You're Emil as well. But your personality was created as a way to face society after you lost your memory. Then what is You guys remember the beginning of the game? Right? When um Emil, quote unquote Emil saved Marta. And when he walked up to Emil's actual parents, and he took on the persona of Emil. Aster is supposed to be dead. Could this be why I remember getting killed by Richter? Because I'm actually Aster? They told us Director Schneider's back in the city. Let's go to the research academy and hear what he has to say, okay? But, Marta... We can't just leave you like this. Marta's right, and there's something else you should know. Regal's reason for saying all that wasn't so he could call you a fake. He brought it up because he's worried that you'll disappear entirely. The you you are now is important to us. To me, Regal, Rain, to all of us. Thank you. I am sorry for bringing all of this up. Please don't apologize. I want to know what's going on inside me more than anyone. Let's go to the research academy. Yeah, it's kind of sad, right? 38? Bullshit! God, look at that. Okay, well, we're like two levels away. I'll just wait till we get to the Lightning Temple and level up. No, no, that, no! God damn it! Keep reserve, protect a friend, protect a friend. Alright, let's go. Hey, what happened to the bouncer? <laughs> this buggy, this guy, scared him off. Now he's the new bouncer. 
Can we get in by this way now? Can we finally? Yes! Huzzah! Haha! -ha! I found a way around your bouncer abilities, Mr. Bouncer Guy. I have found the secret entrance. Now I'm in. Like Flynn. <laughs> What is this? Why? What, what is it? It's not a dinosaur. <laughs> Which reminds me. Yeah, I was playing Dead Space and I like hear the um, necromorphs screaming. And their screaming sounds a lot like a freaking dinosaur. You know, like from Jurassic Park and stuff. That m other movie, um, which is Jurassic Park 2, but it's called the Cretaceous Period. I don't see why they didn't just call it Jurassic Park 2. Anyways, yep. Let's talk to Mr. Cybeck. Yeah, Mr. Cybeck? No, that's not his name. It's Mr. Schneider. Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. Now, you wish to enter the Temple of Lightning? Yes, we do. Yes, and there's something else we'd like to ask you. What can you tell us? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Aster were related the moment I saw you. No, you see... Quite an interesting tale indeed. Indeed. You may very well be Aster. You certainly look enough like him. Did you meet your relatives in Lewin when you were young? No. I met them for the first time after Palma Costa was attacked. Hmm. hmm. Then it's certainly possible that Aster took on your name and identity somewhere along the line. Or he took on Aster's name and identity somewhere along the line. Isn't Emil too young to have been a researcher? Oh no, this is the cool part. Aster? Aster began conducting research yep. in facilities when he was nine, nine years, old. years old. That is some super smart kid, but we have this dumbass blonde alfalfa here. Right? There's like no way he and Aster are related. There's no way. He was brilliant. It was hard to believe he wasn't a half elf. If he was still alive, he'd be eighteen. Emil, how old are 18. you? I'm 16, but if I really did lose my memory... Right. You wouldn't know how old you actually are. What did Aster research when he was here? He was originally studying summon spirits. I believe you may have met him in Mel Tokyo's elemental research laboratory. I knew I recognized Emil from somewhere. Yeah, you stupid whore. Studying the relevance talking cleavage is just talking mind. cleavage. Absolutely he no brains in there. Monsters regulate the world's mana levels. To prove this, he set out to perform a field test with a summoned spirit called Ratatosk. That was roughly two years ago. And Richter went along to... Correct. Richter was a half-elf who worked here. He and Aster got along quite well, even collaborating in their research. The two left town to conduct the test together. So what happened? I don't know the details. Richter told us that Aster had died, and he subsequently left the research academy. Is there any way to find out whether Emil and Aster are the same person? Yep. A researcher named Relina is currently at the Temple of Lightning. She started working here at the same time as Aster. She and Aster were close friends. She also knows quite a bit about Radatosk. I'll give you a letter of passage to go inside the temple. Go and see her. Are you sure? It seems like you've been really strict about who you'll let inside. Lately, we've had an unusual number of lightning storms around here. What's more... The dimensional boundary That's important to note. Has become yeah, people remember that. Dimensional boundaries. Dimensional boundary? In other words, how should I put this? The detailed explanation is far too complicated, so that will have to do for now. Anyway, it's not safe, so please be careful while you're in there. What did he do? He just kind of walked up to us. Oh wow. He gave us a He didn't even do anything. He was just like walk up, temple. stare at Emil, and then walk back. That was okay. that was terrible. Horrible. No. No. Not cool game, not cool. 
Anyways, now I believe we get the side. What the fuck? I was stuck on the corner. We get the side quest with Richter. I hope those guards don't give us any more trouble. We've got an official okay from the director. We'll be fine. I guess. But what if they attack us? And I lose my memory again. Emil, give me your hand. Huh? Oh, okay. Hey! Ouch! <laughs> it hurts, right? That's proof you're here right now. Yeah. Does my hand feel warm? Yes. That means I'm here too, right beside you. So stop looking like you could disappear at any moment. Bitch, you didn't have to pinch me for that. God. 